Yeah, hi. Um, my name's Tom Harris with the International Climate Science Coalition. Concerning the context, I think it's too limited, and I'd like to just read four sentences from a hearing from Professor Patterson. He's an earth science climate specialist. He uh, testified before the House of Commons Committee on Environment and Sustainable Development. He said this, and I think it applies very much to Ontario, these four sentences. If Canada's government is to base climate policy on real science, then it must accept that its policy direction should be changeable as climate science advances. Otherwise, policy becomes disconnected from science and we may waste billions of dollars going in entirely the wrong direction. Until we have a far better understanding of the underlying science, the government should cancel funding allocated to stopping climate change, which according to Dr. Patterson is ridiculous. He says the only constant about climate is change. Now, in support of his point of view, I have a book here called The Non-Governmental International Panel on Climate Change, and it lists literally thousands of peer-reviewed studies published in the world's leading journals that actually show that a fair number of your context statements are at least debatable and perhaps, at least in their opinion, wrong. And so I'm just wondering if you'd like a copy of this, if you'd like to read it, and I can give it to you right now if you'd like. Would you be interested in open science hearings on both sides of the issue? Yes. So I think that's a question of government. Are you not representing the government here? I'm really uncomfortable with the uh, term climate change because it started out as global warming and then sort of morphed into climate change when the when Al Gore's predictions didn't really come true. I have here a chart of a uh, nineteen-year pause. Since we haven't had any global warming for about 19 years, since 1998 or so, we're going to get to talk about that, and we're also going to get to talk about how the biggest greenhouse gas, about 95% of the Earth's greenhouse effect, is water vapor, and carbon is not an atmospheric pollutant. So if they're going to tax and price carbon, you're not going to price like me breathing out after each breath. I mean, <laughs> 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 climate denial work is here in force. It just really sounds like the, uh, the fix is in, like the science is in when it is really highly debatable. Just to touch on uh, it's the gentleman to the right. Oh, my God. 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 Why don't we open that gentleman's book over there? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We said range. Remember, I said there's always a box. Remember, I said there's always a box. The box here is in one of the first slides. Karen said the government has accepted that climate change exists. I have a PhD in physics, it's down in the basement somewhere, I'll find him again one of these days. I was a senior research scientist with the federal government in natural resources. I don't like burning coal. But I would suggest very sincerely that on item one, that they start off by doing science. I will not see that. The greenhouse effect is not the greenhouse effect. That's a piece of physics. Okay? A greenhouse does not work by trapping the infrared. Um, why do you keep on counting carbon when you talk about carbon dioxide? I'd rather you don't. I'd rather these guys straighten up to think properly. I would like uh, people, before they get up and call themselves uh, climate activists or any of those things, to actually spend some time reading the scientific literature, particularly geology. Physicists claim to know everything, but Geologist. So I don't have a tail, and I don't have a horns. But I think it's very important we do what is accurate and right. Running off in all directions, trying to do everything at once, doesn't make sense. The, the real reason we should be worried is that the long-term projection for Canada is cold weather, not warm weather. Actually, if it was warm weather, I'd be happy. I don't give a damn. Hi, 
Tom Harris again from the International Climate Science Coalition. I wanted to put two things down, obstacle and vision. I think one of the obstacles was demonstrated here tonight, and that is an intolerance of alternative points of view when it comes to the causes and consequences of climate change. I think that's a very unfortunate thing because it discourages people like this PhD in physics to come and express a different point of view. I think we need to open open our minds to alternative points of view. You didn't hear the PhD in physics booing people who were making science mistakes. And similarly, when this fellow makes statements which perhaps are wrong, perhaps are right, in your opinion, the bad behavior, I think, is an obstacle to progressive discussion across the political spectrum. So my vision would be a situation in which the government sets the tone. In other words, instead of using terms like climate denier, which of course we don't deny climate, we think that you should help people adapt to climate change. Right now in the world, a billion dollars of US a day is spent on climate finance. Only 6% of it goes to helping real people today adapt to climate change, however it's caused. So I think discussing these sorts of things in my vision would be acceptable and not get the kind of catcalls that we heard tonight. 